welcome back to my youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you to those that have subscribed thank you and if you are new to this channel please do it by subscribing what i'm doing here is just tracing out my sleeve pattern drop a link of how to drive the sleeve pattern in the description below so i have my basic sleeve traced out and cut out so i went ahead to get the midpoint of the sleeve which is this line and this is also my bicep line this is the bicep line so for us to get the fullness of that sleeve from this bicep line i'll measure two inches downward i'll do the same thing here from this line out point this line i measure two inches as well and also measure two inches here So, I'll run a straight line this. Also, with a straight line here. Yeah. I'll do this. Also, do the same thing here. So we have this, this to this, this to this, this to this, and this point to this point. Okay. So from this line, I'll come down again by two inches. And I'll do the same here also by two inches. And since I don't have enough space here, I'll use 1.5 instead of 2 inches. I'll use 1.5. Use 1.5. Also do the same thing here. Make a straight line. So pull it straight line. This is what we have here. Oh, you use my machine. So after getting to this point, the next thing for us to do is to cut out the cut this way. the same thing
Let's see what's here. I'll go ahead and paint this way. So, from this point, this last part, I'll spread this way. So, we have in between this splitted pattern, we will determine by how full we want our sleeve. I want this sleeve not really, really full. The space you have in between this pattern will be determined by how full you want your sleeve. For this, I'll be using three inches. So from this point, from this point, I'll measure three inches. mark and place this then pin down and also pin this part down make sure it's relaxed and from this point as well measure my three inches Same thing goes to this part, three inches. You can try to use two and a half, you can try to use three and a half inches or four. It's all depending on how wide you want your sleeve.
do the last part three inches as well. Mark. Then, if you watch closely, you see that I've already added my allowance to the side and to the armhole part. So I'll go ahead and add allowance to this part, to the down part of the sleeve. For the part, I'll be adding two inches. You don't want our sleeve looking so two inches for this part and for this end I will use half inch and also use half inch yeah and I will connect this and connect this to this So connect this to this. And I'll go ahead and you know cut out. This method actually help us determine how full we want our sleeve. We can how full we want our sleeve, and it also help us maintain the arm o, the accurate arm o. Because with this method, we didn't add any fullness to the arm o part. It still remains the same. So, I go ahead and indicate the front and the back by launching the front once and I'll launch the back twice. Go ahead and cut my line for the sleeve. This is for me to cut my line.
dressing with me it's called paper stain you can use your paper stain or you can use your hair stay i'll be using paper stay for this video fold it into two so the work of the interface is to make the fabric a little bit thicker you can go ahead and cut your interfacing for the full sleeve but for this video i'll be cutting for the tip of the sleeve only yes for the little so i won't be needing much though just for the tip of the sleeve On this point, this is our contacts. Okay. And I'll fold this just to make this point. Measure four inches. I'll go ahead and iron my interfacing. To this part. So I'll go ahead and iron to this part. And also this to the second sleeve. Then I am in my paper stay on the down part. So it makes sense for me to the next is for me to join the lining this way. So I'll go ahead and stitch this part with half inch. I'll take it to my machine and bring it back. So I already started sewing. So I decided to record this part. Just pay attention and see the way I stitch the sleeve and top stitch as well. Just watch closely. After joining the lining together, you go ahead and top stitch with the half inch which you sew being placed under the lining. The half inch which you sew will be placed under the lining, not under the main fabric.
So after that of stitching, the next thing for me to join the sleeve together. Thus we making sure that the lining and the fabric are on the same line. Because this way, sewing will be hidden and you have a neat finishing. Just watch closely. So after the stitching of both sides, go ahead and iron and attach the sleeve to your dress. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. If you have not subscribed, please do by subscribing. Thank you.